So if you have a newer model car, one of the most important things that most people are looking for is CarPlay support or Android Auto. This particular segment will be about CarPlay. Um, I have CarPlay built into my Kia Soul EV. It's a 2021. And, um, but I have to plug in a cable. So I have a USB cable that I normally would plug in here. And then I have my phone, which I would put there. This is actually a wireless charging bay but I can't use the wireless charging and CarPlay at the same time, which is really frustrating. But the folks at CPlay to Air sent me this. This is a wireless CarPlay adapter that will allow you to get rid of the cables. And basically you just plug in this little dongle into your USB port on your car. And then you basically pair your phone with this and your phone can be anywhere or it can be sitting in my wireless charging bay, for example. So we're gonna go through the process of pairing this up and show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I just plug this into the little port on my car that gives me CarPlay access. You'll see it'll pop up in a moment here and it's gonna basically ask me to pair on my phone. And so it's reading the USB and then basically it's um, got these options. Now, one of the challenges with uh, this particular device I found is I wasn't able to get the Bluetooth to connect. That's what it wants me to connect to and it wasn't working, but you do have the option of just using the USB port on the dongle to do a quick setup. So let's do that. I'm gonna take the USB cord, plug it in, and then I'm gonna plug it in my phone and it'll just do the handshake and do all the, the stuff it needs to do. And in a second here, you'll see it pops up, waits for connection, gives you a Bluetooth connection option, or you can plug the cable in like I did directly. And there it is. The really cool part now is I can actually unplug this, take out my cord. I can take my phone, I can put it on my Qi charger down here, and I can just sort of tuck this out of the way. Now, ideally, this would be somewhere else, but it's still handy to not have to deal with this cable when I'm using CarPlay. And the nice thing is, is I can turn the car off, turn it back on, just put my phone there. It'll automatically come right back up right where we are here and everything works. So I can just go to go to the office, which is just around the corner, start my navigation and completely wireless, aside from the dongle being plugged into the port. A couple cons, I guess, with this particular device. Um, this device is not cheap. It's fairly expensive for what it is, but for some people it might be worth it. Uh, it's about 160 Canadian. Um, it goes on sale quite often. Um, I saw a lot of ads for this actually before I got it. And um, so it seems to be out there and a lot of people do seem to really like it. And definitely if you have lots of cables you wanna get rid of, uh, you don't like dealing with that, it's probably totally worth it. I can't imagine not having it now that I do have it because it's just so simple. I just throw my phone there and I'm good to go. The only other thing is that this is a little bulky, you know? So again, if you, depending on your car, you might have a better spot for it to be hidden away and out of sight in a center console, for example. But, you know, overall, I really like this system. It makes it super simple. All it is is an intermediary for CarPlay. And even on my phone, you actually have the ability to go in and then customize what actually happens with CarPlay. So I go into CarPlay, and I have my Kia CarPlay, but then I also have this, the C6B8. I can go into there and I can customize the look and feel of this, change my apps around, and um, have my own personalized view for just this adapter versus actually wiring it directly into the USB. So it's pretty cool. It basically behaves like an iPhone intermediary and it just works. Um, another interesting thing is you can actually update the firmware. All you need to do is go to your browser. You put in a uh, URL, which is actually on the back of the box. So let's do that right now, 192. And we click on that. We click go. And it checks for the updates. That's it. That's all you need to do. Check again. And even here, you do have some options for configuring uh, different things like the sound quality, uh, the media delay, the startup delay, because sometimes some of these cars do have a bit of a delay before they actually get into CarPlay. And you can even adjust the frame rate, background mode, GPS, and rollback options as well. So pretty straightforward. You don't really need to even worry about this at all if you don't have to. Um, it just works.
So if this is the your first time on our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification icon. We do lots of videos about car tech and tech in general, and uh, we'd love to hear what you think.